Today, I want to show you how you can get your install to last a bit longer using just the sprays. And I also want to share how you can get the most realistic install look. A lot of you always tell me all my wig installs look very realistic with little to no effort. So I'm gonna share my best tips that I can in today's video. The wig I'm working with in today's video is a 13 by six cap. Since I am going to glue it down, I'm just going to remove these adjustable bands that they inserted inside the cap. But as you can see, it comes with combs. It comes with the other adjustable strap that's in the back of the wig. And that's what I like to use the most. All right, so the wig today comes from Super B Wigs. It will be linked below in the description box. And as you can see, it has this beautiful pre-plucked hairline. Now, when your hairline on your wig look this good, this wig is very beginner friendly. If you are an expert also and you just don't like plucking your wigs anymore, this wig is everything, okay? So you can see that the hair texture is gorgeous straight out the box. It has this beautiful curl pattern, which will turn into like a loose wave later after you wash. Now, when it comes to my wig installs, I always wear a new wig cap underneath my wigs. Now I can either wear it as is, or I'll do the ball cap method with it. But these do come in several different colors. Choose one that matches your skin tone. So for today's install, I'm going to be using an Even Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray Supreme. This is one of my favorite. The black can will give you the longest hold out of all of them. And I'm gonna show you how I use it to get the longest hold. So for the ball cap method, I will apply this right to my wig cap to create that fake scalp. And we already talked about how I do this, so I'm not going to go over it again. You guys can reference my previous video. Since I'm not bleaching the knots, I am going to tint the lace before I glue this wig down. So as you can see with the ball cap method, all you do is just cut away the extra cap that you don't need. And because I tied the cap down with the sleigh band, it definitely helps to melt that cap onto your skin. So if you don't like using a stocking cap or you feel like the stocking is too small for your head, then this is another way to get that wig cap to melt. Now lace quality and the hairline on your wig is important when it comes to the hold of your wig adhesives. And I say this because if you have a good quality lace like the one that is on this wig, as you can see, it's very soft and the hairline is not too thick. Your adhesive spray will last longer. So you want to apply one layer, let it get tacky, then spray a second layer and then repeat the same steps up to about three layers. And then once it's tacky, you press that lace down onto that glue. Now, if your hairline is in the way, make sure you push it back because you want the install to hold the lace and not the hair, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna tie this down so that I can make sure that everything is laying nice and flat and also just make sure the hairline is where it is supposed to be. All right, so once you have that, you can part this wig. And as you can see, the ball cap and the actual tints of that lace helps the wig to look like scalp when you part it. So you can part it wherever you want. I'm gonna do a side part just because I have a certain look that I'm going for. And with this wig, since it already came pre-curled, I don't really need to curl it completely. So I am just gonna take my curler and touch up the front so that I can get it more defined where I you know, separated that parting and it made the hair a bit frizzy. But that's the one thing I love about this texture is that straight out the box, it's already curled. So you really don't need to curl it and the hair is clean. So sometimes you don't need even need to wash it. But once you do, you will have to restyle it again because of course this hair is going to be like a slight wave it is a body wave texture so you, we all know what body wave look like once it's wet but the hair is absolutely gorgeous and so very soft let my hairline stay tied down for at least an hour i can't stress this enough if you want these wig adhesive sprays to last or even your wig adhesive you have to let it stay tied down 
for longer than 30 minutes. And also you need to make sure it's not getting any moisture on that hairline at least for a few hours after your install. So what I'm doing now is taking my sleigh band and re I'm repositioning the sleigh band so that I can remove the extra lace and have my sleigh band hold the lace down so that it won't lift while I'm trying to cut away all of this lace that I don't need. Now this step is totally optional. You don't need baby hairs if you don't want them. However, if you like them, you can create them. And I like to create mine by curling the hairs at the front first and then using a little bit of that wig adhesive spray to um, hold them down. I don't like using gel because I do feel like it causes them to be too intense and hard looking. I love the wispy, soft, curl baby hairs. I feel like it flows better with the hair. Now, to be honest, when I see a lot of hairstylists do or create baby hairs on their clients, I do notice that a lot of them like to use a lot of spray, a lot of gels, and I think it helps with getting that extra long hold for their client's wig install. So, Baby hairs can be a little helpful and they can also help to hide that edge of that lace so you won't have that box line line up around your forehead. You guys know what I'm talking about. Nobody wants that box look, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and touch up areas around that hairline where um, it's a bit whitish and I think that it's coming from, not the lace, but it definitely is coming from the spray that I use inside the wig cap. So I want to make sure that the lace around my forehead actually matches my forehead. And then maybe a half an inch back, that's when you want to have the lighter color because your scalp is naturally lighter in color. So if you take little steps like this, um, it definitely gives the wig a more realistic flow okay it's kind of like when you're adding contour to your face and then you take the contour or the bronzer up to your hairline and you sweep it around that hairline this is almost the same thing if that makes sense <laughs> Also, let me just point out, if you ever glue your wig down and you still notice that you can see the lace, even if the lace is supposed to be very invisible, you may need to go back and cut the hairline area a little bit further back. Sometimes if the hair is not on pieces of the lace, you will see it. It won't lay right. So sometimes in my videos, you will notice that I will take my scissors and I will cut little pieces of the lace that didn't lay down and it makes a huge difference. Now this install will last me for at least three to four days and I do tie down my hairline if I'm working out. But you guys drop me some comments, let me know. Are you going to try out my methods in today's video? And also, if you want this wig, it will be linked below in the description box along with the discount. You can use the discount code MARIE to save about 10% off your purchase. This wig is absolutely gorgeous like beautiful so i uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you back in my next video Mwah.